Okay, so as you can see, I've got no internet connection on my Google TV. So how do you play media such as movies and TV shows whilst you've got no internet connection? This could be handy if you're going away somewhere and plan to take your Google TV stick or box with you and you're not sure what the internet connection is going to be like. So you don't know if you're going to be able to stream stuff. So all the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, at the moment, I've got no internet connection on my ONN box, which is a Google TV box. As you can see just there, it says no internet connection, but I've still got some movies on a USB drive. So how do I play them without an internet connection? So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to need a, uh, a certain cable. And this cable is called an OTG cable. So what it's got, it's got the normal USB-A adapter just there in the middle of these two leads. And you've got a male and a female micro USB connector, which is the connector used in most Google TV boxes. This here is a ONN box and that certainly uses the micro USB adapter in there for the power. So also what you're going to need is a, uh, a memory stick or a hard drive. I've got a small 32 gig memory stick there and that memory stick needs to be formatted to FAT32. There are some devices which will accept NTFS, but I think generally all of them will accept FAT32. So by all means, try formatting this to NTFS, put one movie on it and see if it will accept it. Certainly my ONN box doesn't. It just basically says there was a problem with the drive and it just won't show me anything. I had to format it to FAT32. Now, a lot of people say, well, how can I play a movie that's larger than four gigabytes if you're using a drive that's formatted to FAT32? Because there is a limit to the, to the individual file sizes when you format something to FAT32, and that is a four gigabyte limit. Now, unfortunately, there's no way around this apart from perhaps to re perhaps encode the file using something like Handbrake and use something like a, 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 a format such as HEVC X265, which obviously can produce higher quality files at a uh, lower file size. So uh, that's the only way you're going to be able to get around doing this. That's what I've done on this stick here. So I can basically effectively fit more stuff on it. So once we've got our stick or hard drive and our OTG cable, we are ready to go. So we need to ensure that we have an internet connection first of all. So this is before you've got to the place without an internet connection because you need to download something just briefly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press and hold the microphone button on the remote and I'm going to say VLC player. So there we go. There's VLC for Android. So uh, search for it if you need to in the Play Store on the online keyboard or just say it like I did. Highlight install middle button and let that install. So hopefully that should only take a few seconds to install. As you can see there, it's now downloading and installing on mine. So it's 85% of the way through. Come on, nearly there, 100% done. And it's, oh, sorry, now, in, now it's installing. So hopefully shouldn't take too long if your box is quite a quick box or your stick's quite a quick stick. Once it's installed, we need to open it up just to uh, allow it to go through the relevant permissions. So we're going to do that now. So highlight open middle button and then you've got the welcome to VLC. So let's just go through the settings there. So middle button. And now this is very, very important here. You need to allow VLC to access your photos and media on your device. So you must make sure that allows highlighted in white like it is in mine. Once it is middle button and then middle button again and then middle button again. 
there we go. So we can come out of VLC now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to power off the, uh, the Google TV. So let's unplug the power cable. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my OTG cable and I'm going to find the female side of the socket just there and plug the power cable into that there. Then I'm going to plug the male part of the socket into my ONN box just there. They'll only go one way around. There we go. That's plugged in. OK, I'm going to wait now for the ONN box to uh, to power up. Hopefully shouldn't take too long. And once it's powered up, we need to pop our memory stick or our hard drive into that socket just there. So uh, just be patient. Just wait for the thing to, uh, to to boot up. Hopefully shouldn't take too long. So like I say, this does in most cases need to be formatted to FAT32 for it to be read on the stick or box. So just to prove a point, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go across and I'm just going to turn my Wi-Fi off. So go into Wi-Fi. So turn that off. So I've not got any internet connection. Now you don't need to do that step if you haven't got an internet connection anyway, but this is just to prove a point that it still works without an internet connection. So there we go, Wi-Fi connection lost. So let's plug in the USB to the OTG cable. There we go. And what we need to do now is, let's just bring that back into shot. There we go. As you can see, it says it's checking the USB storage, analyzing media storage. And I'm going to grab my remote control now and I'm going to go into VLC. So let's just find it. There it is just there. Middle button. And as soon as we go into it, there you go. It tells me new external storage detected. Do you want VLC to add device system to your media library? So, yes, it's detected my USB stick. So yes, we do. Now on this device, I've just got the three Back to the Future movies. So not very many, but uh, it's enough for me. Now it's scanning through and there we go. It's now found the movies. I've had to blur them out because obviously I don't have permission to show these. So let's just go into one of the movies and start playing it. There you go, going to Back to the Future one. And it should start playing. There we go. Um, I, again, I've had to blur this out because I just don't have the rights to be able to show this. I know there's fair usage, but YouTube can be a bit finicky about things like that. And I don't want to risk any backlash from that. So there you go. That guide showed you how you can basically put your own media on a Google TV device for when you're unable to stream, or it could be that whatever you've got and want to watch isn't available on a streaming platform too. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you're looking for a VPN or anything from Amazon, my shop is in the description down below, and there's links to VPNs too. If you're looking for a Fire TV stick, Fire TV cube, or Fire TV accessories, or even one of these OTG cables, there's a link, there's links down there to them too. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to de dedicate more time into researching and bringing you these videos. And whilst you're on my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.